and is filled with lots of events for the family to do, including stopping at Tower City. News 5's Nadine Navasato with all those details. While everyone is trying to make a slam dunk this weekend, Larice Purnell had a different agenda. We have about 100 black owned businesses from all over Northeastern Ohio. He started the Real Black Friday that took place at Tower City all weekend, featuring black businesses of all sorts and the NBA Ice Bucket Challenge. NBA All-Star 2022 hasn't been done here in 25 years in our city. Um, it just gives these local businesses and helps to put them on a national platform. One of those businesses is Collegiate Lux. Came in from Baltimore. An HBCU store. Try to bring life to uh, black universities. Um, like I said, we have 50 plus schools. And just trying to bring light, let people know that you can wear this every day. Well, they offer swag like this from a list of HBCU universities all over the nation, including Howard and Morgan State, who played in the HBCU All-Star Game. It was huge for um, HNBA to step up and say, let's, let's bring a black college basketball game. The black colleges get overlooked, you know, and they have the same talent, the same everything. It just they get overlooked, which, which is unfortunate sometimes. Kelly, just like the rest of the vendors, were stoked about the event and foot traffic, saying this one is something small businesses needed. It's tough times out here for some people, you know, so this is really good to see some people get a chance to to sell their product and market their products. Which Purnell adds, supporting small businesses should go further than just this weekend. Instead, it should be an everyday thing. This is about us coming together collectively. And I will say, it is not just for the black community, it's for everybody in our community. These are just black businesses that need your support. And for Kelly and their HBCU store, they'll be back. We're going to have Central State and we're going to have Wilberforce real soon for the, for the, for the people of Ohio but with some more Ohio gear. Reporting in Cleveland, Nadina Busada, News 5.